What concert costs just 45 cents? 50 cent featuring Nickelback. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget, comment your jokes down below because honestly, as you can see, I'm running out. Right, so hello again everybody and welcome back. Right, so I know a lot of people have been purchasing Fire Sticks and Amazon products, but there are a lot of settings inside your Fire Stick that you do want to be turning off and maybe a couple you need to turn on as well to be able to make it perform better. And another good thing with turning these settings off, it kind of stops Amazon tracking what you're doing on your device. So right, that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's crack on. Right, so one thing I'm gonna ask, I don't usually ask this either, is like the video and comment down below which Amazon product it is that you use. Is it the Fire Stick, the Fire TV Cube, the HD Fire Tablet? I'm interested to see the amount of people which use certain devices. So 4K Fire Stick, second gen Fire Stick, get it commented down below and let's see how many users use which device. Right, so I'm on the 4K Fire Stick, but obviously any Amazon device is going to be pretty much the same. Right, so when you first buy the Fire Stick, you set it up and all that, a lot of people don't actually know where these settings are or what the settings are in general. So what we're going to do, we're going to turn a few off and then we're going to delete a few things. We're going to make sure your Fire Stick's working the best it can, so it's not sluggish, it's not lagging. Hopefully cure your buffering. I'm, I'm not saying it's a big statement that, but hopefully... Just make it run better and stop Amazon seeing what you're doing on your device. So right, on your Fire Stick or your Amazon product, your Amazon product, yeah, that device, go to settings. And once you're at settings, we're going to go all the way across and you're going to see, first of all, preferences. And preferences is where a lot of the settings are going to be that we're going to want to turn off. So if I click on this, first of all, you've got your parental controls, which is obvious. If you don't want your kids to be seeing stuff that it's parent, like adult restricted, then you're going to want to turn that on. But you're going to see now you've got privacy settings. So if we click on this, device usage data, collect app usage data, in interest-based ads. So these, the device usage data, use personal data collected by the operating system of the device for marketing. So this is more like an ad-based kind of thing, but they're collecting data about you to see what relevant ads to serve you. So first of all, you want to switch that off. Make sure that's turned off, it's not needed. And once again, it's, it's another process that the Fire Stick's trying to run by sending your data across to somewhere else. Right, so the next one is collect app usage data. And as you can see, allow the App Store to collect information on the frequency and duration of the use of downloaded apps. So it's, gonna, it's wanting to see what apps you're using, how long you're using them for and shit like that. So once again, we're going to turn that off because we don't want any information being collected by Amazon about what we are doing on the device. And then next of all, you've got interest-based ads and you can even see you've got an advertising ID. So what we're going to do, we're going to turn that off as well. So as you can see, everything inside the privacy settings is turned off. Right, so the next one down, you've got data monitoring. So data monitoring, monitor data consumption on your Amazon Fire Stick. So straight away again, we're going to turn that off. It's a lot of things, it's, it's making it run in the background that's going to kind of make your device run that little bit slower because it's just trying to perform too many tasks. But also... We don't want to, we want to keep us privacy and that's really the main reason we're turning all these settings off. So the next one down you can see you've got notification settings. So if we click on that, you're going to see just underneath it says app notifications. And these are all your installed apps. But really you don't want to receive any notifications on your Fire Stick. So click on them and turn all them bad boys off because it's not needed. And then once all those are turned off, ding dang do, that's another good thing we've done. So then next one down, we've got featured content. So if we click on this, allow video autoplay and allow video audio autoplay, sorry. Right, so what these do, on the home screen, you're going to see at the top bar there, it's got a little like 90 Day Fiancé and then you've got whatever else you've got. And then it's going to start playing a video. So once again, this is going to slow your device down because it's trying to perform another task. So if we go back into the settings, and then once we're there, we'll go all the way across to preferences again, down to featured content, and then we're going to turn these off. Because let's be honest, we don't need to be seeing those videos playing on the home screen 
it doesn't really benefit us and it's not really something we need to see and it's another task for the fire stick so now as you can see when I'm on it it's not auto playing a video anymore it's just scrolling through the images and then at the bottom there you're going to see metric units I don't think this really matters but I turn it off anyway because I like to turn everything off I'm that kind of guy <laughs> Right, so next of all, you can see you've got My Fire TV, or it may say My Device for you, it depends how old the Fire Stick is, but usually it's My Fire TV. If we click on this, you're going to see you've got Developer Options, and on here, just make sure both of those are turned on this time. Obviously, apps from unknown sources lets you download third-party apps to the device, and then ADB Debugging will help you with a lot of things, such as mouse toggle and that. So now we're going to scroll across to applications and on applications you're going to see it says game circle. If we click on that, on select games your progress is saved to the cloud by whisper sync. You can turn this functionality off on this device. So yes, that is one thing we're going to delete again because it's another thing we don't need. You've obviously got Amazon Photos. I don't know, I've never had to use that. I don't need guest connections and I don't need to the Amazon Photos, but if you do, leave them on, obviously. And then you've got App Store. And in App Store, you've got automatic updates, you've got external market links, in-app purchases. In-app purchases is quite important for if you're using your device and your kids are around it a lot. So, within some apps, you can purchase in-app items. Some examples of in-app items include newspaper subscriptions, additional game levels, premium content, or extra functionality. I'm going to turn that off because if the kids get hold of it, I don't want that scenario where the kids spend about £200 on shit I don't need, you know. So I'm going to turn off in-app purchases. Do I want notifications about the App Store? No. And then on the external market links, you can click on that and make sure it's on ask before opening or don't open. Right, so now you've kind of made your fire stick a lot better. It's not, it's not going to be tracked and... Amazon can't really see what you're using the device for, you're not sending your data over to them, they can't collect shit. But, we want it to run smoothly, and one of the most commonly used downloader apps on Fire Stick is Downloader. <laughs> and if we go to that, and we scroll down to Downloader, we're going to launch this application, and then on the left hand side you're going to see it says Files. And this is like mega important, because on Fire Stick, there's not much storage on there at all. So if you click on that, these are the files you've downloaded. So once you download and install an app, you need to delete the installation file. But if you don't, it goes into the files. And as you can see, 19.3 megabyte, 71.3 megabyte. So that's taking up a lot of storage and these are dead files, they're just installation files. So what you're going to want to do is long hold with the enter button and then click on delete and just make sure all that's clear so you've got as much storage as you need for the device. And then one last thing that we do recommend to make sure your privacy is safe is using a VPN. And IPVanish is the one I recommend personally and it's the one I use. And it's also available in the Amazon App Store. Then it's as simple as once you launch it, you just connect to whatever server you want and then there you go. It's keeping you safe, it lets you access GeoLock content. So if you need to be in the USA to watch um, a program there, you can put the server over to USA and there you go, that thing, well, the device thinks you're in that location. But the best thing with a VPN for me is, as you can see, visible location, it gives your device a completely new IP address. So if you're using third-party applications like your movie apps, your live TV apps, I would definitely recommend that you do use a VPN. We do have a bunch of free VPNs on the website letscrackon.org in the download section so you can go ahead and try one of those as well. They're not fully recommended, we don't know the permissions and all that shit, but they're there if you don't want to spend on such as IP Vanish. And what I will do, I'll leave this link in the description down below and they've done it so that my viewers get 57% off the actual VPN price which I think is kind of awesome. So that's it for this video. I know it's, it's kind of a boring kind of video. It's hard to have a laugh with stuff like this because it's just do this, do that, do this, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but like I say, do the same as I've just shown in that video. Make sure those settings are turned off and make sure the settings I did say to turn on, turn them on. And anything I haven't shown in this video, do comment down below and let me know because 
I've got a tendency to forget things. Another person you will find does a lot of videos like this is streaming news. It's Doc Squiffy has moved over there and that's definitely a channel worth looking at. So that being said, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and I'll see you soon. Tara. Right, so the next one down you're going to see it says collect app usage data. I didn't say usage then, did I? <laughs> and then on the external market... Oh, market. <laughs> and you can also connect. Wow. You can also... <laughs> but like I said, they are... So, just do the same of what I... Oh, God. Can't tell. Shut up. Oh, 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 o